everybody, this is Joe Joseph, and this is the DailySheeple.com's news shot. Going to CBS Minnesota, interesting uh, piece, robotic touch, they say, as University of Minnesota researchers develop way to print bionic skin. Again, folks, the technology curve has totally and completely gone off the charts as far as acceleration. I mean, we are going at breakneck speed uh, and, and people have no idea what's coming down the pipe in 5, 10, or 15 years. We can take a look back and see how fast things have gone in the last 5, 10, 15 years. You can look back 30 years ago and see what's changed and what hasn't. But, I mean, you can tell that things are advancing much faster than they used to. I mean, if you think about it, prior to the 1900s, for thousands of years, basically since the dawn of time, we've used horses for our main mode of transportation. And in the span of a hundred and say 17 years, look at where travel has gone and what we're capable of to the point now where you have uh, places like CERN, where they're trying to rip through the veil and uh, just create interdimensional gateways so that you could travel vast differences by walking through a portal. If not other things, you know, you're talking about research that has just, gone off the charts and now the researchers at the University of Minnesota say they've developed a way to make bionic skin Techno technology that could allow robots to feel their environment and humans to wear sensory enhanced devices directly on their fingertips that's right the university announced the discovery Wednesday adding that the research led by mechanical engineering professor Michael McAlpine will publish will be published in the next issue of advanced materials According to UNM, McAlpine and his fellow researchers developed a way to 3D print stretchable electronic fabric on human skin. While they haven't printed the technology on real human fingers just yet, they were able to successfully print the sensory material on the curved surface of model human hands. The researchers say the technology could have several applications from medicine to, of course, warfare. They added that the technology could be available in the very near future as the 3D printing manufacturing techniques are part of the team's discovery. Putting this type of bionic skin on surgical robots would give surgeons the ability to actually feel during minimally invasive surgeries, which would make surgery easier instead of just using cameras like they do now. That's what McAlpine said in a statement. Again, we're seeing this move. We've seen these robots now taking over. Uh, surgical procedures from doctors because they can do it in much less time, much more efficiently and greatly reduce the risk of infection. Of course, I'm referring to uh, that recent article that I've done. I think I talked about last week about the robot that took over certain types of brain surgeries because it can just do it where it would take a surgeon two and a half hours. It actually took it two and a half minutes. And I mean, that's the type of improvement that you're seeing utilizing this technology which of course if you're any sort of logical thinking human being you're saying to yourself wow if i could get a robot to do that and totally and completely reduce the risk of medical malpractice or other sort of injury to patients and greatly increase my bottom line in the process oh yeah i'm doing it and that's what they're doing slowly but surely these hospitals are changing out the ability, uh, taking away the diagnosis ability from doctors and giving it to computers. Just plug in the information into the computer and let the computer spit out the diagnoses. I mean, and fairly soon after that, what are we going to do? We're going to have AI doctors. There won't be a need for human doctor, you know, as, as if human doctors today have any sort of bedside manner. They're very few and far between the ones that do. And normally the ones that do are old and are retiring soon. The rest are just your cookie cutter uh, assembly line doctors that come out of college with absolutely zero common sense at all, zero bedside manner, zero uh, ability to uh, deal with human humanity issue deals, uh, issues of humanity and, and any sort of compassion. They're just blank slates when you look at them, you know, totally clueless to their approach. And it's evident in the, the medical care in this country and the fact that people are getting sick and tired of treating the symptom instead of fixing the problem. And there are so many ways that I can get into that, but I will in a future video here real soon and feel free to comment below, by the way, and check out our website at thedailysheeple.com. Have a great day, everybody.